Thanks for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. I hope you're having a great day. Stay positive, stay focused. Let's get to it. What is the hot topic that's going on on YouTube or Instagram? Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. Don't forget, the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. Thank you for all your love and support. So don't forget to like, to comment, but be kind, and also turn on the notification bell. If you don't want to make a comment, put your favorite flower in the comments. Let's get to it. It's being reported that Krishan Rock gave her pastor a stack of money for helping her when she was young. Let me tell you something. Grew up in the church. You know those pastors that speak word into your life. That helps you help your family. It's total encouragement. And then behind the scenes, you hear how he took some groceries to the family when the father lost the job. You hear how he took someone to a doctor's appointment when their car was down. You hear how he took turkeys to the families when they had no food for the holidays. Those are the true pastors you see when they have different bike situations for children when they're younger they take the kids to the park sometimes when they have tickets they they rent out a space for the families to attend if they've had a hard time those are the true pastors that go out into the community give to the community have different events for the families that are struggling and then the families that can do and help they come together and give five dollars ten dollars then he gives it to the family and then he helps the family in times of need. There's been people that were brought up in the church, at the church for 10, 20 years. Father lost the job. The church gave zero to help that family. There's been times when many people were at larger churches, family struggled, but gave to the church for 10, 15 years, did nothing to help, no food, no, no, do you need a, a $5,000 car? Nothing. So when you think about all that those people did for the church, but then the church gave them nothing in their time of need. Of course, some say they can't do it for everybody. You know how much money comes in per week if churches have service Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday? Hello. So let's get to the clip. I just wanted to give some, you know, a response. So... He must have been a great pastor for her to give him, give him a stack. We get it, sister. I'm happy for you. I'm happy you blessed that pastor, and I'm sure he's going to bless his family and bless somebody else. So let's listen. Christian. What? That's how you gave it to me. Wait a minute. So you can't, you can't tell me that's not a blessing. What? That's how you gave it to me? Wait a minute. And for him to ask, are you sure, baby, that's a good pastor. That's a good pastor. That's a good pastor that supported the family, that was open with people, that was kind with people, that was loving to people for her to make it and give back to the pastor. Some people don't do that. They don't do that. They don't do that. They hear you come up with a lawsuit. They want, you know, so much in ties and this is, I did this video 
because you could tell she came back to give to somebody that gave to her family. This right here, truly a blessing. This right here, some people say, well, da, da, da. her having the pregnancy has changed certain things she's seeing more. She's respecting herself more. She, you know, sometimes when you love somebody, you still kind of communicate a little bit. She's a still a younger girl. But my prayer for her is that she keeps growing. She keeps learning. And guess what? When there comes a time when she needs to talk to that pastor, he's going to pick up that phone and he's going to talk to her. If he cannot, he will send one of his best to assist or to help in, in her time of need. Let's be very clear. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Congratulations to Kashan in regards to growth. Sometimes people will think that your growth has to be something that's shown every day. Even the smallest changes is helping her. You know, we may not always understand Krishan and Blueface situation. We may not understand it. We don't need to understand it. They're younger people. The, the, the biggest thing is, the greatest thing is that they're still here, that they're both not in jail for what we've seen. What the show has put out is a blessing that they're still here. Let's be very clear. Their blue face and her situation is so, so concerning. So concerning. And they were like, she's such a beautiful girl. What's keeping her there? He's disrespecting her by dating this other girl. What's really going on? Come on, Krishan. And then we understand she's had struggles because you would think that somebody that beautiful, that bright, why are you messing with him? So I'm happy that the pastor's been there for her. She can show some love back. She's giving back when she can. You see, she's on the show with her family. You could tell that when she was in that tub, crying her eyes out in her clothes and the family member just grabbed her and just hugged on her and they were both soaking wet. Whether that was like, uh, uh, like, uh, let me see, what does it call those? Whether it was a pool or a sauna in the back, whatever it was, the family member just got in that pool with her and when she was just crying her eyes out for the, for the cost of fame, for the price of fame, she got, she got famous off him being so disrespectful and them being in such a toxic relationship. So I'm happy she blessed the pastor. Told y'all grew up in the church, seen a lot, heard a lot. Oh my goodness. You can only imagine. Maybe one day I'll do story time. But right now, I'm so happy for her. You can tell I'm, ex I'm happy for her. Smaller growth, any type of growth that she has, it's a blessing. And I'm sure that pastor probably pulled her aside after service and was like, you good? I'm sure he probably still checked on her. Next day, same day, whatever. He probably going to make sure whatever she even needs in the future. If he can't, one of his, his ministers will help guide and try and be there. Not just because of the money. For her to go back, she didn't do this for show. Bible. She didn't do this for show. She did it because he must be a decent pastor her. Some pastors make mistakes. Some pastors do stuff to people. Maybe, you know, you see certain things, but then you hear certain things. And people don't attend church like they used to. They don't because of what was going on in the world. And, you know, people in times of need just don't have it to give for offering. But I'm happy that Krishan has somebody and people to go to for guidance and help. Let's listen again. It was a blessing. It was a blessing. Are you kidding me? Girl, are you sure? Yeah, that's what the Lord put in my heart. So I'm... Let's listen again. What? That's how you gave it to me. Wait a minute. That's a blessing. Everyone, have a great day. Focus on healthy, safe relationships. What? 